Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. 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 It has been a, a busy week for you all, I think. Uh, as we are preparing to enter Ramadan. And last week also I gave you uh, a quiz, which is uh, not very long. <laughs> And I have actually almost finished grading it. It is quite good. And uh, I just didn't finish the last question because the last question I have to listen carefully. So it uh, will be ready soon and you can actually receive your scores. Uh, you will get it soon, inshallah. So let's start with our lesson number eight. Uh, as usual, I'm going to show you this calligraphy, beautiful calligraphy, as you can see it on your screens. So if you are able to, please raise your hand and you can tell me how to read this. Let me see, bismillah. If I can see the menu with the hands raised. Um... I cannot see the hands raised. Oh, uh, Anas Sultan raised his hand, mashallah. Brother Anas, can you read it? Anas? Are you able to hear me? Anas? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> or something like this. <laughs> very good. <laughs> MashaAllah, very good, brother. Very good. All right, I will show you then the uh, ayat. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very, very good what you, what you did, alhamdulillah. Uh, so this is from the Quran, of course, and it's from chapter 23, ayah number 115. And it says, A'udhu billahi minash أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ أَنَّمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ عَبَثًا وَأَنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَ لَا تُرْجَعُونَ So this is uh, the translation of which is Then did you think that we created you uselessly عَبَثًا uselessly and that to us you would not be returned um, The reason also why I select this uh, ayah of the Qur'an is because we have here what we call idgham. Um, uh, and this is actually today's lesson. This is the purpose or the focus of our lesson today. So, Jazakallah khair, Brother Anas and the son, MashaAllah. What's your son's name? The one who was reciting? He is uh, Anas and one um, is Brother Sultan and Anas, of course, yes, yes. I'm sorry for the mistake, yeah. <laughs> so today uh, we are going to learn something called idram. Uh, idram in Arabic is merging or uh, connecting. Idram, okay. And it's the last rule, rule number four of uh, the series of Noon Sakina or Noon Sakin and Tanween. And Idram is also pronounced with a nasal sound. Okay. And that's why we call it with runna. However, uh, I would say this is partly true because our rule of idram today has two parts. Two parts. Okay. Part one is with runna and one is without runna. So uh, most of it is with runna, but a little part of it is without runna. I'll get into the details in a moment. The letters of Idram are six, six in total. And they can be remembered by the simple word Yarmaloon. So Ya, Ra, Meem, Lam, Waw, Noon. Yarmaloon. So this is just the easy way to remember. It doesn't mean anything really in Arabic, to be honest. Um, in Arabic, Rammel means uh, sand, sand, you know, the sand on the beach. But um, the meaning is opaque. It doesn't really have any meaning. So if you want to remember um, just with an easy formula, these six letters, 
the word will be yarnaluna. Okay. So um, just a quick reminder, how many letters are there in the Arabic alphabet? Let's do a quick mathematical minus one. <laughs> oh, okay. 28. Okay. So let's make a quick calculation. Let's see who's good in mathematics here. Uh, so we have, we started with, um, uh, no, not we started, but the biggest number of rules for Nun Sakina as far as letters are concerned are last week's or two weeks ago's rule, which was the rule of Ikhtha. Ikhtha. How many letters are there in Ikhtha? You remember? 15. Right? So Ikhtha has 15 letters, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Then Idhar Halqi. Idhar, the opposite of Ikhfa. Ikhfa is hiding. And Idhar is showing. Remember, we call it Idhar, or we also call it Idhar Halqi. How many letters of Idhar? Six. Six. Okay, six. So we have. 15 and 6 is so far how much quick when mathematical 21 20, 21 very good Seven. and then and then this week we have idgham and we have idgham here and how many letters are there in idgham 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that gives us a total of how much 20 27 Oh, oh, so we don't have the number. Oh, of course, we forget Iqlab. <laughs> Iqlab, what is the only letter of Iqlab? Iqlab is to change one letter into another, and the only letter of Iqlab is Ba. Mm -hmm. oh, ba. So that is one, that's a total of 28. So we have a good count, alhamdulillah. So you have all the 28 letters of the alphabet. 15 for Iqfa. Six for Idhar, six for today, Idram, and one for Iqlab, which totals 28 letters of the alphabet. If you, are, if you don't always remember uh, how many letters are there in the Arabic alphabet, just remember Latin alphabet, English, French, Italian has 26 plus two is Arabic, 28. Okay, so let's uh, continue with today's focus. Idram, uh, what does it mean? Well, basically is to mix or to put one thing into another, or like I told you earlier, to merge, to connect, to merge, merging, right? Like when you put, do you see me on the camera? You see my face? Yes. So Idram is doing this, connecting, right? To mix or to connect. You see my two hands mixing like that, right? That is Idram. Symbolically speaking, that is Idram. Um, what happens, we have a noon second or we have a tenwin, and that gets mixed into the next sound to become one single sound which has shadda. For example, an plus following ya yeah becomes ay. All right. And don't worry, I'm going to show you some examples in a moment. To combine, another way to understand what Ibram is, is to combine the noon sound from the previous word into the next following letter, either the noon sound or the tanween, of course, into the following letter. For example, if it is uh, ya, yeah, it becomes ay instead of an ya. Yeah. All right. Some examples so that we can move from the theory to the practice. We have here um, one word that ends with noon, faman, and then we have one of the letters of idram ya, yarmalun, and instead of saying faman ya amal, because that would be idhar, we say faman ya amal. Okay, that is gunna with two harakat, faman ya amal. Okay, or we have lahabin watab, lahabin watab. See the connection? 
The connection is between the last sound of the, of the first word, lahabin, and the first sound of the next word, wa. We say, lahabin wa tab. Okay? Very good, mashallah. And then another example would be with Tanwin, Habilumin. Habilumin. Okay? The on, on of Tanwin gets merged with the mean of the next word. So here we are connecting this to this, merging together. Okay? Habilumin with two harakat. Very good, mashallah. Or another example would be min ni'ma. Min ni'ma. Okay. So this is category, I will call it for now, in order not to confuse you. I will call it category one. And next is category two of Ibrahim. I will explain what these are, why I say there are two categories in a moment. But even you will notice that they are pronounced differently. This next one, this next sound or next ayah, here is the idram. See, I actually connect the N to immediately to the next lamb. Okay, I don't make I don't make ivhar. I don't say laibaratan yaksha, but I say yaksha. Actually, there is another ibram here, which is number category one here. Okay, or we have this example here. في عيشة الراضية. So this in connects to the ra. في عيشة تر في عيشة تر في عيشة تر راضية. Okay. Now, why do I call these category one and category two? Keep that question in mind because I'm going to explain it right now, inshallah. Before I explain, um, I want to explain something which is uh, maybe a little bonus extra information. Um, idram only works, let me change the pen. Idram only works if you have two words Word number one and word number two. And uh, let's choose another color. And you are merging the last word of the last sound or the last letter. I would say the last sound is better. The last sound of the first word with the first sound of the second word. Okay. So in fact, idram happens at the intersection of two words. Okay. However, there are some examples in the Quran. There are actually four examples only in the Quran where noon second is followed by one of the four uh, of the six letters of idram, but we don't have idram. Why? because they are happening in one single word instead of two words. And this is not idram. It is what we call idhar mutlaq or absolute idhar. Why? Because they happen in only one single word, but not two words. So there are only four examples in the Quran where there is a noon second followed by one of the six letters of Ibram, but there is no Ibram happening, but Ibhar instead, because it is one single word instead of two words. You understand? So these four words, we don't make Ibram, we are making Ibhar. 
izhar mutlaq. Okay, so we say sinwan, sinwan. We don't say sinwan. That's wrong. We say qinwan, bunyan, adunya. Okay. If we were if we were to apply the rule of idgham, we would say sinwan or qinwan or bunyan or adunya. But because they are happening, these two words are happening in one single word. These two letters are happening in one single word, not at the connection between two words. Then we don't apply idram. We are making izhar. Okay. I'm going to stop here because I'm not getting feedback. I want to sh to, uh, to make sure you are understanding what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is just an exception. Yes, we understand. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So. There are only four words in the Quran where you will see noon second followed by one of the six letters of Idram, but there is no Idram happening. Okay, for only four words in the Quran. Why? Because in this case, it's in one single word instead of two, two words. All right. So let's, that's, that's the exception I wanted to talk about. Now, there is also an interesting situation in the Quran where... Um, if this is for advanced learners, mashallah, I think we have some very smart students in this group. Uh, there are also some uh, chapters in the Quran where I would help you, okay? I'm gonna help you. It's the beginning of chapters and we have a noon second sound or tanween followed by one of the six letters of Idram, but we don't apply Idram. If you know, raise your hand. So we have either Tanween or Noon Sakin followed by one of the six letters of Ibram, but we don't apply Ibram. Why? Because we need to make a pause here. It has nothing to do with one word or two words, but it's because we have to make a pause. Anyone knows? Okay, I think not. So if I say this is this, <laughs> I'm sorry for the image. This is just showing that um, it shows like this is for very, very, very strong Tajweed students. Okay, you're all strong Tajweed students. For example, yes, in uh-huh. Okay, let me explain to you, inshallah. Let me show you. Noon. Noon. Okay. Let me show you um, this card. Uh, let me show you this. So you see here, we have noon, which is noon second, right? Noon. And if you write noon, um, it will be n, uh, noon, wow, noon, ending with noon second. But you have actually a wow following it. So it is one of the six letters of, um, of six letters of uh, Idram, right? However, we don't say no al qalami wa ma yasturun. We don't say that, right? Because we stop here. There's haraka that we have to make a pause. Okay. Let me play it for you. I hope you can hear it well. ما نون والقلم وما يسطرون نون والقلم وما يسطرون Okay, if you don't pause, you need to say نون Then you make إضغام So, but in this case, we don't make إضغام Yes or not, brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay. And then the second situation is Yasin. Okay. If I write Yasin, I will write it like this. If I write it the way I pronounce it, I'm going to write it like this. Yasin.
If I write it the way I pronounce it, so it will end with noon second. You got, you got it, right? And then it means that I have to check what comes after. And if it's one of these six letters, then I have to apply a bram. So let's see, is it any of these six words, six letters coming after Yasin? Well, yes. But because we have to stop here, we make a pause. We don't make idram. We don't. We don't say yes. Well, no. We don't do that. We have to pause. We have to say yes. Well, Quran al Hakim. Okay. So no idram in this situation. Yes. Okay. Right. There is also one more last situation. I'm sorry if I show you all the exceptions, but the exception means that they will not happen a lot. They are only exceptions. In Surah Al Qiyamah, chapter 75, verse number 27, there is this symbol here that you can see seen. It means you have to make a small pause. We call it in Arabic, Sekta. Latifa, Sekta Latifa, small pause. You can also find it in Surah Al Kahf. Um, Surah Al Kahf is actually chapter 18. Let me show you. Um, if you go to Surah Al Kahf, here, you see it here? See this small scene? It means Sekta, Sekta means shh. Stop. Small pause. Okay. It also is available in Surah Al Qiyamah, but in the same area. So here, there is noon. Second, followed by one of the six letters of Ibrahim. But because we need to observe that small pause, we don't make Ibrahim here. All right, let me make you hear it. وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقَ He didn't do a drum. He didn't say وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقَ وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقَ No, he said وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقَ I'll let you hear it again, inshallah. وَقِيلَ مَنْ Okay, so that is because you have to observe a small pause or a silence. Christy. All right. Yes, brother, I can hear you. Tell me. Um, what would the meaning change to if we don't pause in this ayah? Um, okay, I'm, I have to admit my limitation in um, uh, Quran Tafsir. Uh, so... There will be certainly a, a, there will be certainly an influence on the meaning, but since this is not my specialty, I wouldn't be able to tell you that right now. Let's ask people who are specialized in that. Inshallah, that's a good question, but I don't have the answer for that. But I would say yes, definitely the meaning will change. Okay, um, so that is basically uh, the influence of pausing on idram. Okay, sekta, sekta means sh, sekta, short silence between words that you have to, uh, to observe. And we will have a whole lesson on um, those small symbols like seen, uh, lam, meme, to, to understand their purpose and their meaning in the Quran, inshallah. Okay, so um, this is just an illustration of what I was saying with Yaseen. والقرآن الحكيم and نون and you have here regime والقلم وما يسطرون okay now let's go back to إدغام and I told you there are two types let's get into the business of إدغام إن شاء الله the first إدغام is called إدغام بغنة with غنة aha so بغنة means we apply غنة and um, it's also called idram naqis or incomplete idram. 
Uh, it's getting complicated here. No, don't worry. <laughs> it's not complicated. Why do we call it incomplete idram? And why do we need to do ghunna in this case? Because we are not totally merging the two letters into one, okay? If we merge the two letters in one, there wouldn't be a ghunna. That's why this type is called incomplete, all right? And out of the six letters of Ibram, Yermalun, we're going to keep only four. Okay? Yamun. Uh, or Yenmu. Yenmu is an easy way to remember them. Yenmu. So you are subtracting the letter Lam and the letter Ra. And you have only four letters left where you're going to apply the Ghunna with two harakat. So... Uh, the reason, as I said earlier, why we call this incomplete or idram naqis, naqis or incomplete idram is because if it was complete, it means two letters merge wom into one, then we wouldn't need the ghunna and it would be only one sound left. Okay. Uh, so how to pronounce it? Skip the noon. So you skip the noon or the tanween and pronounce ghunna with uh, these two letters, uh, uh, with, with these four letters, sorry, for two counts. Okay, like for example, you have this. So you have this letter here, noon second. And uh, let me just write down the six, the four letters left. Yenmu, Yenmu. So here we have noon second and we have, we have the noon here. Okay. So we're going to merge them and do two harakat of ghunna. Falan nazidakum. Falan nazidakum. Okay. All right. And then we have another example here. Yeah, in this case, noon second. Okay, so we're doing the ghunna to harakat, trying to connect the two uh, words, to connecting the two words, expressing your idram here. Or Suratul uh, Masad, I think, yes. Actually, in Suratul Masad, there's a lot of idram. تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب مم سد مم سد نون ساكن and mean here's another one مم سد okay and then finally the example with wow نون ساكن and wow مو ورائهم مو ورائهم okay now, since we have looked at examples with noon sakin, we are going to look at examples with tanween. Okay. First example, tanween, followed by wow. Okay. Another example with mean. So here, this is med. You can do two or plus. Two here and then two here at the connection between the two, all right? Okay. Then we have an example with ya. So we have tanween followed by ya. Qulu bay yawma idhin. Qulu bay yawma idhin. Okay. And finally the example with noon. Tanween followed by noon. We make connection or idram. Yawma even na'ima. Yawma even na'ima. 
Okay. So this is the idram with runna. It means we are going to have two harakat. Okay. And make nasal quality. Nasal quality. All right. So runna means nasal, right? Remember, nasal quality. Now, the second type of idram are, is the idram without runna. In Arabic, we say idram bila runna. So the initial six letters of idram are yar malun. Six letters, yar malun. But we have used already four. We have used already four. For the previous idram al runna, we have used ya yeah and nun and wow and mim. So what remains is lam and ra. And for these two letters, anytime these two letters will be following either nun second or tanween. Let's say it this way. Then we have no runna. Okay, we don't do runna. We don't do runna. All right. But we are going to still do two harakat. Okay, we still are going to do two harakat. So let's have a look at how how. Um, how they are going to be read or how they are going to be pronounced. So we skip the noon or tenwin. We don't pronounce the noon or tenwin. And we don't do runna. And we are going to read them like this. Okay. You see the, the noon is totally absent or dead. This type of idram is called complete idram, complete merging, because the noon has totally disappeared or the noon sakin has completely disappeared. In Arabic, it's called idram tam, total idram or complete idram, because the noon or the tanween has completely disappeared or merged into another sound. Okay. Arrabbihim. Sorry, I think I made a mistake earlier. Um, I said two harakat. No, there's no two harakat because two harakat is characteristic of one. So here, arrabbihim, arrabbihim. Okay, simple shadda. You don't make two harakat because shadda for ra is not two harakat. It's just shadda, shadda right? You say, arrabbihim. Or you say, la illam, la illam. So the noon. The na sound has completely vanished or disappeared. We say la illam. You're only pronouncing la la illam. You don't say na la illam. So complete merging of noon into another sound. It has morphed into another sound. Okay, here is a, a few examples with tanwin, not with noon second. Okay, we don't hear the n of the corona. We say the corolalamine and we don't use our nose. We don't use our nose because nose is a quality of n. But since we don't have tanwin or noon, we don't express the runna. So we say the corol, the corol, you go from ra to lam directly. Vikurul, vikurul from Ra to Lam. You totally disregard the Nun or the Un. Vikurul lil alameen. Okay. Another example of Tanween with Ra followed. La ra'u for Rahim. La ra'u for Rahim. Okay. Now, a word, a word of caution. A word of caution, especially when it comes to Ra. All right. Make sure don't do this. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I think I told you before. Um, don't carry on dragging, dragging the Ra for too long. 
okay because it will be a mistake called tikrar or takrir some people do it in al-basmala they say bismillahir rahmanir rahim don't make the ra dragged as if you are pulling it uh, for a long time don't say um la raufur rahim no only one time ra with shadd la raufur rahim la raufur rahim not la raufur rahim don't do that that's a mistake right arabic is not a language that has uh, trills trills means ra repeated many times but other languages of the world like thai thai in thailand uh, has the quality of ra which is dragged r or spanish for example but arabic doesn't drag the r like that only one time you have shadda you say la raufur rahim la raufur rahim or bismillahir rahmanir rahim not bismillahir rahmanir rahim that is wrong right that is a wrong type of idgham Okay, so only once the ra. Okay, so let's practice and uh, see more examples of um, idgham. But before we practice, can I also see if you guys are doing well and if you have any questions? Because I don't want to assume that everybody is all right. If it's not all right, any questions? Maybe if you raise your hand and then I can see if you're okay. The progress. No? Okay. Um, uh, in this next exercise, I want you to do two things. First, you can tell me, number one, where is uh, the idram? Where is it? And second, what type of idram? Is it the idram with runna or without runna? Okay. So if it's with runna, it's four letters. Yanmu, ya, na, ya, nun, mim, wa. And if it's bila runa, without runa, is lam and ra, followed following the noon second or the tanun. Okay. There is one thing I just want to uh, tell you, um, because I saw it in the in the quiz. There are some mistakes in the quiz. Some people are reading. Um, in the last exercise of the quiz, some people are misreading or mispronouncing certain sounds. For example. And I think it's a problem of print. It's not your problem. It's the problem of the print. When you see this, it's not, it's not Dhamma, okay? This is Sukun. Right. And I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why um, they don't make a clear Sukun. But it's a, probably a print thing, you know? So here, don't say Femenu. Femenu. It is not, it is not sukun. It is not uh, dhamma, it is actually sukun, all right? So in the exercise, in the quiz, in the last exercise, many people pronounced this as famannu ya'mal, ya'malu. Okay? So um, let's, let's get some participation going here. So first of all, you raise your hand if you're able to read it. Um, you don't really have to tell me what I just told you. I will see if you apply it correctly or not. And then I will correct you if it's wrong. So for this first one, let's give it numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Okay, who wants to read number one? Raise your hand if you want to read it. Anyone? Anyone, raise your hand. I don't see raised hands. If I don't see raised hands, I'm going to read it myself. <laughs> okay, I will read it myself then, inshallah. Okay, the first one, listen carefully. Oh, there are some people who raised their hand. Oh, I don't see them, that's strange, how come? Why I cannot see that? I cannot see that. Oh, come on. Um, 
All right, whoever raised his hand, just go ahead for number one. Okay, uh, okay I raised my hand. <laughs> Sorry. I would like to try. This is Nida. Uh huh. This is the Nida. Welcome to you. Beautiful, mashallah. So here we have Idram with Runna. And we have two harakat with nasal, like Sister Nida. Very good, Sister Nida. Good job. All right, let's go for number two. Volunteers, raise your hand and go ahead. Someone different. Yalla, bismillah. Go ahead. Because I cannot see your hand raised. I'm sorry. Yeah. May. Uh, Again? May yesha. Okay, I want to see a bit more time for the linking between the two sounds because you skip it a bit fast. I want to hear two harakat. May yesha. Okay. May yesha. All right. So make sure you count two. One, two, one, two. All right, very good. All right, next, number three. Let's have Brother Yusuf. Very good. Mayakul. Yes, because you stop, so then the U will, will become a sukun. Mayakul. Very good, Brother Yusuf, mashallah. All right, let's have some someone different from number four, for number four. Go ahead, you just do it and uh, activate your microphone and just go ahead. Very good, mashallah, very good. That's a nice goodness. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Anas. And I will read from the fifth one. Yalla, bismillah, go ahead. Shanna'i yaraha. Where are you reading? Pardon? I cannot see. Oh, 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 number five. We went to number five. Shanna'i yaraha. Shanna'i yaraha. Very good. Thank you. That was really nice. Masha'Allah. Good job, Anas. Next. Anyone else? Someone who hasn't participated, go ahead. Let's do number six now. We are still with Idram, with Ghulna. All right, I'll do number six. Yalla, bismillah. Falan nazidakum. Falan nazidakum. Okay. Number seven. Can I read number seven? Please. Min nutfa. Very nice. Or min nutfa tin. Very good, mashallah. I like it because you did the idram and you also mark your qalqala for ta. Nutfa, nutfa. Very good job, brother Sultan, mashallah. Let's do number eight. Anyone? Even, it's number it's like number four. Number eight is like number four, the beginning. Yawma even naima. Yawma even naima. Good job. Number nine, anyone? I read number the last one. Very good. Please do it. Do it. Go ahead. Uh, Beautiful, mashallah. Very good job. Tabarakallah, masha'Allah. Now we are going to go for another round. Let's give them numbers. Yalla, bismillah. Let's do the same. So everybody can participate. I want to hear, uh, for example, Jannah or Layla. They haven't been participating today. Six, seven, Shamsuddin also, if you want. So we have nine, right? Okay, number one. Uh, can I read, brother? Yes, of course. Go for it, inshallah. Mim Masad. MashaAllah, good job. How about you read the, uh, the whole line, brother? Go ahead, read the whole line. 
مما ثد مما مثلا ما very good مثلا excellent good job brother number a second line four and five who wants to take care of it let's have a, one of the sisters let's alternate any sisters please go ahead step forward and do it Mm -hmm. very good very good mashallah don't forget to uh, make this like a hair very good mashallah all right a gentleman or brother for the third line six and seven you should fight for it like you're fighting for deeds Sir, can i read the third line please do it nice. very nice mashallah good job excellent i like it how about the last line any sister eight and nine Uh, let me try. Yes. Kafir wa yahti. Let me say again, okay? Yeah, try again. Kafir wa yahti. Okay, let me help you. Look at this. This one is N, right? Yes. Kafiran, not kafirun. I think you are, you know why oh. you are saying kafirun? Because you are looking at this. You want to make it so okay. So you say something like this you start with a and you move to rounding the lips next. Try again. Okay. So what you are doing actually is you are um, anticipating the wow and you are almost, you are already uh, rounding the lips in kathiran. So oh, you're saying, I'm not saying the raw probably, the raw. Yeah, you're doing this instead of this. You're saying kathiran, kathiran. You should say kathiran, kathiran, ow, ow. You know, so it's a merging sound between this and that. It's sw switching from one to the next. You know, it's a linking sound in a way. That's better. That's better. Okay. Very good. All right. How about number nine? Try. You wanna try it? Where where You can do it, sister. Number nine also. Wa wa li diu wa ma wa la wa la wa la wa wa la 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 wa wa la wa wa la wa 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 lidi wa ma wa lad. Excellent. Jazakallah khair sister, mashallah. All right, let's continue. May, okay, I'll, let me do this. I just want to practice too. <laughs> so I will do all of them and you can listen to me, inshallah. May yushrik. May yushrik. Second. Wa in yuridik. وَإِنْ يُرِدَكَ وَإِنْ يُرِدَكَ All right. Number uh, second line. عِظَامًا وَرُفَاتًا Okay. عِظَامًا وَرُفَاتًا uh, Fourth one. أَنْ يَخْلُقَ أَنْ يَخْلُقَ Sorry. Let me do it again. Okay. Uh, this one now, this one, the bottom on the right. 
لعنة ويوم القيامة لعنة ويوم القيامة and the last one حميد مجيد حميد مجيد okay you notice something or not I think I want to call your attention to something anytime we have uh, idgham we have either a known second or tenween, right? So that's the first part of the idram. But the second part always, always, always will have a shadda on it. That's why for idram with runna, you need to spend some time there. Okay, and even without runna, you have to point out the shadda, the sound, although you are not going to repeat it for a long time because there is no runna. So, may you shrik, wa yuridika. See, there's always a shadda in the next sound, in the second word, the beginning of the second word, there's always a shadda starting, right? أي يخلق لعنة ويوم القيامة حميد مجيد. Okay, so there's always a shadda. I think even if we look at the previous examples, there's always a shadda starting the second sequence of the ibram. Okay, that's just the point I wanted to show you. Okay, let's see more volunteers. Wailun. Anyone can help me with the reading of this ayah? If you want to do it, just uh, enable your microphone and go for it. Uh, can I read it? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, Excellent, mashallah. So here we have a beautiful ayah where we have two idram. One is with runna, one is without runna. Because we have lam here. And here we have ya. Yeah. So here we have وَيْلٌ So we don't pronounce the in here, we pronounce the lam. وَيْلٌ Very good, brother. Okay, next. Who wants to do it? There's only one Ibram here. Excuse me, can I read it? Yes, please. Tanjilum mina rahmanir rahim. Very good. Excellent. Do you want to try again? Try do it again another time. Yeah. Tanjilum. Do it again. Tanjilum mina rahmanir rahim. Very good, mashallah. Good job here. Two harakat with one. Very good. Next, let's see. Who wants to do it? Brother Ghazali, where are the sisters? Layla and Jannah. Where are your daughters? I want to hear them today. <laughs> Not here? Who wants to do it? Practice makes perfect. Yalla, bismillah. Go for it. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ So we have two types of idram. One is without runna, and here one is with runna, because we have a ya here, and here we have a lam. So here is no runna, and here there is runna, okay? إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ Okay, all right, let's see the last one. A bit longer. A bit longer, anyone, any takers? Yes, please. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I have a question for you. Can I ask you, where is the idram? Sorry, where is the idram? Can you tell me? Can you point it out? Do you know the idram where it is? Anyone? Okay, sometimes I will test your attention to see if you are following. Here there is no Ibram. <laughs> because I want to see if you are if you are aware of what you are doing or not. Okay, Ibram includes or involved involves either nun second or tanween, followed by one of the six letters yarnalun. So we don't have that here. Okay, we don't have Ibram here. But you read it correctly. The only thing I will encourage you to be careful about is this sound and this sound. Okay. Okay, let me try. This is I'm a bit confused. Okay, so you see, there is no idram here, actually. So this one, please don't pronounce it like a z, and this is a strong word. Okay. <laughs> All right, homework already, subhanAllah, so fast. Uh, I want you to recite um, Surah Al Jumu'ah because we have Friday today, right? Jumu'ah means Friday. But not the whole chapter because it's a bit lengthy for you. But I want you to take chapters, chapter 62, Surah al Jumma, ayah 9 to 11, from ayah number 9 until ayah 11. Okay, 9, 10, 11, three only, three ayat, but they're still long. And of course, as usual, you read it, you recite it, you record it to signal or WhatsApp and send it to me or to the Tajweed group. So here it is. See, I told you if it's it's only three ayat, but it's still long. We have here idram. Uh, we have two types of idram. One is with runna and one is without runna. Okay. Um, I will just point out briefly for you, inshallah. For example, here this is idram without runna. Um, let me see where else. Here this idram with runna. Um, this is Ibram without Runna. Uh, this is Ibram with Runna. All right, so you see, you can actually practice one, two, three, four, two with Runna and two without Runna. Uh, and these other, of course, the ones we have practiced before, like for instance, we have Ikhfa. And we have idhar, for example, tijaratan aw. Here, this is idhar, tijaratan aw. And we have uh, ikhfa, min fadl, min fadl. This is uh, ikhfa. Okay, so I'm going to recite it now, and you are free to to follow after me if you want. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذلك الشيء ذلكم خير لكم إنكم فإذا قضيت الصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض وابتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله 
وَاذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ وَإِذَا رَأَوْا تِجَارَةً أَوْ لَهْوًا فَضُّوا إِلَيْهَا وَتَرَكُوكَ قَائِمًا قُلْ مَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ مِنَ اللَّهْوِ وَمِنَ التِّجَارَةِ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ Okay, you can do it. You can mark a pause if it's too long. And if you stop where you shouldn't stop, you go back a little bit. The problem is sometimes you have to go back according to the meaning and you need to learn what the meaning is. Okay, so I, I trust you can uh, find the energy and um, inshallah, a focus to uh, rehearse or prepare for this chapter, this short uh, extract from Surah Al-Jumu'ah, ayah number, uh, Surah number 62 of the Quran. Okay. So do you have any questions before we do a little bit more practice, before we uh, close today's lesson? Any question? If you just want to ask, just say it because I cannot see your hands raised, unfortunately. No? MashaAllah, today very nice, <laughs> very, very quiet class. <laughs> okay, so um, this is just showing you how you're going to pronounce the, um, the idgham. For example, at the beginning of uh, uh, one of the ayah of Surah Tunisa, chapter, uh, the women, Nisa is uh, chapter number four, I believe, of the Quran. And um, this is ayah number 123. And at the beginning, we have idram, right? Noon second followed by yeah. So when you see it, it looks like this, the way it's spelled out. But in fact, when you are pronouncing it, you are making a connection or a link or emerging between the noon and then the yeah, the next yeah, with ghunna at this point. May Yamal Su Su Ayush Zabi Wala Tajid Lahu Min Dunilahi Waliyah Wala Nasira. Actually, there's a lot of Idram here, my brothers and sisters, mashaAllah. Let's see. Why don't we do some analysis of Idram? Another one here. Yeah. Yeah, I like, like something like this so I can understand more. I because okay. for the sound, sometimes I cannot make some I hear some difference. But I if I okay. see, I can read this. So for example, pronounced as what and what you write it down, then I can understand more. Like this example here, right? Yeah, like, like the example here. Saying. Yeah, so I, I can yeah. understand. Hmm. Okay, so here basically that's what we are doing. Uh, here at this point, the noon disappears, and we're connecting the whole word as if there is no noon, right? May mel. Okay, so I'm going to read it for you. May Yamal Su Ayyujazabi. Sorry. Sometimes my May Yamal May Yamal Su Ayyujazabi. Su Ayyujazabi. Wala Yajid Lahu me. So there's one idram here, one idram here, one idram here. May Yamal Su Ayyujaza be and then Wali Yaw Wala Nasira. And every time you are counting to harakat. All of these idram that we notice here are with runna with one because they involve one of the the four letters um of idram with one sorry my writing is bad so one idram is yeah known meme and wow and idram without one is lam and nara okay all right, so I'm gonna send you this PowerPoint anyway, so you can practice everything at your own leisure and at your own rhythm. 
And let's have a look at the second ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter two, ayah number five. Uh, for example, Mir Rabbihim, this example is without Ghunna. Okay, so we have here, let's see. Here and here, there's no Ghunna because it's either Ra or La. Ula'ika ala hudan mir Rabbihim. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Okay. مِن رَبِّهِمْ مِن رَبِّهِمْ See? I didn't make any noise sounds. Any nose, not noise, sorry. Any nose sounds. I didn't make any nose sounds. مِن رَبِّهِمْ مِن رَبِّهِمْ And there's no two harakat. So here, إِضْغَى Still linking. See, we're linking the nun and the ra, and we're making the nun disappear. And we are don't, we're not basically having any residual sound from the nun. So that's why we call it this type of ibram, complete ibram, ibram ten. The residual sound of the nun has disappeared, so there's no gunna. That's why we call it ibram bila gunna. It's complete merging with no traces left. The traces of nasal nun have disappeared. Mir Rabbihim, Mir Rabbihim. Okay, good. Uh, okay, I don't really have anything left, inshallah, for today's lesson. Uh, so it means uh, that gonna... it's pronounced as, sorry, so, so yes. it means the left side is the correct one, right? Pronounced as the left side is correct. Uh, yes, that's correct. The, the left sound is the one we should apply. Yes, the left side understand. is the one applied. And the, uh, the right side is the one we see, but we don't read it that way. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Good question. Any other questions you want to ask me? Anyone? Uh, let me show you something just uh, for curiosity, uh, sake of curiosity. You see this one? It's another indication that it's recommended to link uh, not stop here, right? It's advised to link everything. Don't stop. It's more advisable to continue and to link all the area from this section of the area to the next. It's advised. Okay. So, um, inshallah, if you have no other questions, I'm going to close today's um, Tajweed lesson, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair for your attention. Inshallah, you have benefited from it. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa antubu layk. Wal'asr inna al-insana lafi khusr. Inna al-lazina aman wa amilu al-salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haqqi. Wa tawasaw bil-sabr. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm signing off. Wa alaikum as-salam. Wa alaikum as-salam. Wa alaikum as-salam. Wa alaikum as-salam.